Yo, what is up? Dude, so we have a new brand in the house today. Something to check out. This is a new guitar from Enya. This is the Nova Go Sonic. Smart electric guitar. It's only a matter of time before the smart guitars would take over. <laughs> um, and you may remember this brand. I believe I walked past their booth at the NAM show and commented on how futuristic the guitars looked. I'm assuming that this is one of those guitars, a composite uh, style, you know, a um, carbon fiber composite mixed guitar. And without further ado, let's open it up. Okay, it's in a bag. Waka waka, waka waka. Yeah, that's nice. That's the front. Here is the bag. Both sides. So you have a back strap here and a side handle here. And uh front pouch you can see right here on this cam here all right we're getting there next up next stop the guitar well maybe maybe we just really quickly we can take a uh, we'll take a look Is there anything okay just making sure there's nothing in there it all seems to be here, right, which is, uh, as you can see here, um, truss rod adjuster, cable, and maybe are those headphones? Uh, no, it's the charging pack. Oh, it's a USB cable. That's what that is. See it there? Oh, you can see it here. It's a, it's a USB cable and a USB charger. Okay, you can see it there. USB charger. And I think this is the truss rod adjuster. And there you go, and a, and a booklet explaining how to, how to uh, use it. And, uh, and the manual, right there. The Nova Go Sonic. Right there, the, the manual. All right. I recommend reading manuals. Can't tell you how many times you, you blow past reading the manual. And it's not that you couldn't use it, but you realize maybe you could do things a lot easier or it does something you didn't realize it does. And you're like, oh, or that certain actions may hurt it. I, I recommend reading the manual. Okay, what do we got in here? First of all, the inside of the case looks very nice. This wonderful, like a bluish gray. Yeah, G good looking case and, and nice and padded, very thick padding. And um, mm, I still, I might call it a bag because the sidewall, well, it's got some padding in it and it's got almost like a little sidewall. You could almost call it a soft case. Not a bag. All right, here we go. Some silica gels for eating. Are you supposed to eat those? All right, here we go. Oh, waka waka, waka waka. A do 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 do. Here we go. Just like that. Let me get it over here. Let's get this. Um, it's got fret protectors on it. Uh, they, they put this on here so that the strings don't get jammed into the frets. I used to call it string protectors, but it, it's really there to protect the frets. All right, here we go. We're just gonna razor this a little bit. And right there, through the tape. Oh, there we go. Now, 
Nice work. Oh, it's all one piece too. It's not a bolt on. This feels like it's one solid piece of um, composite. So we're done. We're, we've looked at the case. There's the case. I'm going to put the case down and we will focus on the guitar. Look at that. It's a good looking guitar. Now you, you probably noticed as I have that it's got a speaker. It's got a speaker up the front. And uh, that's because it's an all-in-one. It can function without an amp all by itself, all in one. You can sit and strum and so forth. But if you're, you know, already flush with amps and don't need something like that, and you just want to play a composite guitar um, that's completely not susceptible to like heat and humidity and, you know, all stuff like temperature changes and humidity changes, uh, you can just plug it in. As you see down right here, let me back up and get in, get in focus. You can see right there is the uh, the output jack um, again over here right there you can see the output jack I probably have to back up to get it in focus but and then next to it again like you see right there again I have to get it in focus here it's a, the, the USB and there's a little light next to it I'm sure that when you plug it in that light might light up and tell you it's charging it's fully charged you know give you some some indicators and then I believe on the other side of that output jack is a headphone jack yeah, so we have sealed tuners yeah it's gonna oh you know what I have to move this let me just move this table out of the way a little bit here so that you can there you go so you can see the guitar a little bit better I have to say, just like holding it in my hand, it's impressive. It's kind of nice. You know, I thought it was going to be maybe a little bit cheaper feeling, right? Because it's a composite. I think you, you might associate it with like more like plastics. This feels more like it's made out of fiberglass, you know, something like high end rather than low end. Here we go. We'll get this on this camera here. You can see the different. So I believe it is all composite. I don't believe that's a separate fretboard. I think it's all one piece. And you can even see here that the nut, you see it in this shot right here, that the nut is all just one piece. It's all just formed. Very different from any guitar I have ever checked out. <clears throat> this is the internal sounds and you know the volume knob and so forth and of course a a pickup selector like you would have with every guitar with more than one pickup you have a bridge and then on the back you can see there's a rubber cover for where the strings go through and then more covers here to get the screw holes should you have to access the panel back there making sure this is in focus here Let's see if it says anything right here um, oh and we uh, will need to go to the web I'll do that and we will uh, download the app you can get it from the uh, the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. So we'll have to do that so we can uh, connect and uh, and check it out. All right, we unboxed it. I will tune it up, plug it in. Let's hear it through my normal rig that we hear every guitar through, and then we'll check out the speaker and we'll check out the internal stuff and the app. And there you go. We'll have a video. Again, it is uh, way more premium feeling in the hand than I uh, had expected.
it uh, definitely feels solid. If I had a guess on the weight on this, I'd say it's in the sixes, maybe even close to seven pounds. I'm going to say it's in the sixes, though, at least. I'll have to throw it on the scale, and we'll see what it weighs. All right, guys. Let me tune it up and plug it in. I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> All right, we are back. <clears throat> so here I have it plugged into my normal rig. Um, and it sounds really good. And the guitar is so resonant. may not have sufficiently stretched them out. I tell you, I love this heel up here too. Really easy to work with. And same with this cutaway. It's like, you know, there's nothing there. It's, it's so wide open. So that's the uh, bridge. pickups. This is my normal rig I go through, the, my um, the British, um, they call it like, what's it, Brit heavy or something? Because I can't say the word Marshall. And then here it is, uh, completely on the neck. a very easy and, and it's a bit of a surprising guitar. Because I don't think these are very expensive. I want to say they're under 400 bucks. Which, you know, for carbon fiber, um, you know, composite, it's pretty cheap. Again, the strings are brand new. But all the all the harmonics are there. That is more responsive than, than some regular traditional wooden guitars I play, you know. Yeah, no, it's got a great sound. Anyway, um, these are El Nico uh, pickups. I want to say El Nico 2, El Nico 5. El Nico 2, El Nico 5. Um, or I have that reversed, but I think they're twos and fives. If I remember correctly. Now, let's take a look here. And, you know, everybody wants to hear it clean. I get that, so I'm going to switch to a clean patch, so we can all hear it uh, clean. Hold on, I just got to find it. There's my normal here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this is the uh, bridge pickup. Check the intonation before I came on here, and it's pretty good. I've seen a lot worse. It's um, 
nearly perfectly in, in, uh, intonated. You can hear it, because those are all in tune. Let's go to the neck. Even so there's both. There's all the neck, you know. Nice and bassy. Right? And um, let's go to my normal behave lead. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. And uh, dual heavy rig. It sounds, it sounds really good. It sounds really friggin' good. Let's get to. Uh, the one I started out with, and that is the, uh, the Brit, the Brit 87. All right. I believe we can hear the internal stuff. Now, I wouldn't expect this to be as good as THU. But I wanted you to hear the guitar, how it would sound if you just plugged it into your rig. You know, if, if you just use the standard jack and you weren't going to do any of the electronics or anything like that, you're just going with um, the pickups in the composite body, and this is what it would sound like, you know, through your through a, a, a full uh, modeling amp or, you know, a, a Helix or a, uh, you know, any sort of decent uh, amplifier system like a Boss Katana. Let's turn, let's turn the effects off. We should still have sound and let's hold, let's hold this button down. And I think it turns on. Now we're doing the internal. Internal amps and effects. I don't know if this is a. Okay, that's a volume. Okay, two. Let's try. All right, that's. Now remember, this is a hundred percent the guitar. I've turned. Uh, we're running direct now. Like just literally straight into a recorder. Right. 
Get up. Should they both volumes? I wonder if that's a blend. Oh, it added delay. And then we're black, back to the blue again, which is clean. Clean. Kind of like a push. That's all from the guitar. That's actually not bad, considering, you know, this is just internal effects. Yeah, all right. Let me get my little field recorder. And I also want to get my iPad and we'll connect to this um, through the iPad and see if there's more parameters that we can work here um, beyond what, what we're just seeing here on the surface, which is basically four modes. Um, and of course we have to, you know, I want to hear the speaker. So again, I'll grab my field recorder and we'll check that out. I will be back in a second. See you in a sec. All right, so I got my iPad connected, as you can see right there. So this is the patch I'm using, this one up here, right? So I can change it to this one. Hear that? It added delay. Change to this one. Took the delay away. Added a chorus, I think. And then the last one is this one. And then you can add more, I believe. It does look like, um, yeah, under guitar tone. So that's under clean. Now on the top here, as you can see, I can switch to overdrive and I get the same thing. Right. You get more effects. This is 100% coming from the guitar. There's no effects on here. Clearly a trim. Okay. We can move that to distortion. We'll try a few of these. Thank you. 
Lashley. Yeah, yeah it has the delay. Chorus. There you go. So, you know, there's a lot more. I can hit the edit button on this and change the name and so forth. I can, I think, edit. And here it shows me what, what it's using for the amp. And I think, can I, no, I can't switch it. Like, yeah, and the effects. Uh, I tap it. There we go. EQ. And... Right there, reverb. Yep. I hope I'm getting this in focus. Chorus. Noise reduction. The EQ. The amplifier. So all done from the. There you are. <laughs> from the uh, from the iPad. Uh, so, uh, or Android doesn't need to be uh, Apple. Uh, Android would do the same thing. I just happen to have a, an Apple product, and I wanted to use something big. My phone is so small, uh, it wouldn't be as good. All right, now I will get the field recorder, and we will hear the um, we will hear it um, from the. Actually, I think I have to hit save and save. Way back to there it goes. There you go. All right, let me get the field recorder. We'll set it up, and then you can hear the speakers built in, and then we'll call it a day. It's a great playing guitar. The neck is very comfortable. It's, I don't know if you can see it. It's a zero fret. See that? It's got a zero fret. All right. There we go. Let me go get the field recorder. I'll see you in a sec. Yo, all right. We are back. I don't need the headphones because I can hear it. I have the field recorder, you can kind of see it in this camera here. And I have it recording the um, the speaker. Let's switch uh, some of these sounds here. Back away a little bit. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go to the clean.
little bit in the overdrive. That's, that's kind of kind of loud. I'm just saying, it sounds pretty good in the room. I hope the field recorder is going to pick that up because it does sound pretty awesome. Um, I will leave a link in the description for more. This is the Enya Sonic Go, I believe. The Sonic Go, I think. Pretty sure. Where's the box? Nova Go Sonic. <laughs> See? So close. So close. The Enya Nova GoSonic in the stunning white, perloid white. Uh, they also make a black. And uh, there you have it. Link in the description for more info. And there you go. All right, dudes, as always, thanks so much for hanging out. And rock on. <laughs>